Example small programs. So you can head off on the internet and find programs all over the place. One place is my site, charliewatson.com slash classpad. Let's have a quick look. So if we head there and I paste that in and um, off we go, let's see what happens. So here we are, we end up at Casio Solutions and uh, as well as the activities and programs, there's some mini programs that we're gonna have a look at. So let's tap on the link and here we go, mini programs. Uh, these are for either the old or the new and um, basically download one say we wanted to download fact we just click on the link and um, it's pretty quick they're very small little downloads so that's where you get them from there's another video that explains how to get them into your class pad so let's assume we've done all that work and we head into main and how they work is we'll just get the keyboard up here we go and head off to the ABC tab and um, simply type them in F A C T. Open a bracket and say we wanted to get the factors of 13. We type in the number and press execute. And um, two things happens. Here is a list of the factors of 13. And um, underneath here, it's just counting them up for us in case we had a bit of trouble doing that. So uh, if you wanted to repeat it, let's just drag it down to a new line. And instead of having the factors of 13, maybe go for the factors of 24, tap execute. And this time there are eight of them. And if you need to recall them at any stage, they're stored in the variable F list. Now this differs from the class pad uh, factor if we use that one the factors of 24 this gives the prime factorization so the fact program slightly different uh, on that one let's have a look at paths so let's clear everything out of the way clear all upstairs and go for the paths one so we'll grab the keyboard up what does paths do it gives you the um the nth row of pascal's triangle so for example paths of five gives us the fifth row of the coefficients in the fifth row of pascal's triangle and so on so we can kind of you know there it starts from obviously zero uh, and upwards uh, you know that was there's only one number in the the zero throw maybe we want the 20th row um, and it also downstairs is summing up the uh, value so here we got uh, the total of all of these coefficients is one million and forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six um, this list is stored in P list uh, if you want to recall it later for any use and of course we can tap across here and see all the all the other coefficients sort of it with their symmetry so that's the paths let's tidy things up um, if you wanted to close this window we can tap the cross at the top here to get rid of it um, let's clear everything away from upstairs so next little function to have a look at is the old prim and again on classpad there is if we head off to the i'll just show you now the classpad's got a function called is prime now uh where is it i know there's quite a lot of things beginning with s here it is is prime input and maybe we want to know is um 1007 a prime number so um and the class mate, it says false but it doesn't really tell you why so this one's very slightly different um now while I'm here, maybe can I find my functions user? No, they don't come up on that one, right? Um, by the if you did want to find them, we go and have a look in the variable manager, and what you'll find is they end up in this place called the library folder. So we tap on the view library folder, and here are the five that if you download from my site, they automatically end up here when you uh, import them into Classpad, either here or just in the main folder um, and you can see there are the two variables created by that other one so where are we where we're gonna give a have a quick go at the old prim one so we need to go back up to the ABC P R I M and let's try the same number 1007 to find out why um, it's composite because it's got a factor of 19 so slightly different to the built-in function there next up is the scientific uh, notation one so clear all let's do a little bit of a calculation say we've got um, 12 times e to the power of 10 so here we go back upstairs and we've got e to the power of 10 or something like that tap execute it's uh, quite large but for some reason um, the answer is required in scientific notation so we head back to the abc tab and um, type in s c i open the bracket and we'll take the answer so i'll just head back up here answer means the last uh, number that calculator came up with 
comma and say, uh, no, that's it. That's all we need, just sign of the answer. And so it's displayed it in the kind of class pad format here, but it's also down here in our more kind of usual um, notation. So it's 2.643 times 10 to the power of five. One more to have a quick look at, the old turning point function. So I'll close that window, head upstairs, clear everything out of the way. And last of all is turning points. So from the ABC tab here, um, we want the TPT. And this time, instead of taking a number as its uh, argument, it needs um, a something like a quadratic function. So um, we might have something like x squared uh, plus 8x take 9. So plus 8x and subtract 9. When we tap execute, ClassPad converts it into the completed square type of form where we can read off that the turning point, a minimum, is at negative 4, negative 25. So there you go, a quick look at some small programs and there's another video that explains how to write these and they're not too hard so maybe you should give it a go.